Hey, how's it going? Today we're gonna to go over how to draw Sylvester the Cat from Looney Tunes, and he's gonna be coming up in the uh, Space Jam 2 movie with LeBron James and stuff like that. So it's gonna be step by step. Uh, if you're a beginner, you will be able to do this, so let's get started, all right? First thing we do, we're gonna start with uh, Sylvester's nose. It's gonna have like a slightly curved line like so. line here <laughs> all right for the top of the nose there for the top of the snout then I'm gonna go over here for the mouth go over here for the other side of the mouth Dot, dot, on the snout here, dot, dot, kind of like, you know, where the whisker is going to go. So we have his snout right here. It's very simple, like I said, very slow, methodical, follow me. Um, or you can just watch and then do it afterward. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to draw the eyes. And uh, we draw this eye first on the left. Curve up. It's going to come up to a point. He's got a very kind of distinctive eye here. Line down, curve line here, and we're going to go up to the other eye, very similar, straight line up the middle, and curve line out over here, and we're going to draw his brow on this side, line up. And we're gonna draw his eyes, which are really just dots, his pupils for eyes. It's weird because all the Looney Tunes have this, but they, they still don't look cross-eyed. They should, you know, their eyes are toward the center. And I'm gonna pull out over here because cats have this kind of like fluff on the side. I'm gonna pull down a bit. Well, not even that down. I'm gonna pull out, curve. Out here, curve down, back, curve over here, back, curve over here. So these zigzag shapes kind of represent um, some fluff, you know, some hair, but you don't want to draw every hair, right? So that's just what that represents. We're gonna do it on this side as well, these zigzag, and it's gonna go to a point. And one of the coolest shapes in Sylvester, uh, his design, is we're going to pull back like so, back like so, alrighty, and I'm going to pull down here toward the stomach area, and then pull down, curved. So that's the kind of the white of his belly right there. So we're taking care of his torso a bit as well while we're doing this. Let's go up to his ear again. We're gonna pull up, down, curve. Over here, up down here, line from the forehead, another line, and another line for uh, Sylvester's kind of those little hairs on his head. He has a few, one that even goes through that ear. And we are going to do some of that at the end, so stick around to the end because there is something I have to do with, with that hair shape. So right here now I'm going to go into his arm, pull down here, 
zigzag. Go over here, pull down, pull down here, pull in. So basically you want his arm behind his back. And you have the zigzag shape to show that his body's furry as well. Going over here, continuing down uh, the leg here. here, down the leg over here, down over here. So you got tubes for legs and there's always like a tube for the arm. Um, he, it's funny because he, you normally see him running around, it's kind of interesting to have a pose like this where he's just got his hands behind his back, going over here, pulling down that left side of the arm, zigzag over here for the end of the elbow, pulling in. Don't forget, if you want to learn more about different Looney Tunes characters, uh, hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification. Um, do that right now before you forget, if you can. Um, if not, I can understand. Alrighty. Going out over here, foot. Going out over here, foot. It's kind of like it's like a circle I and mean, you kind of split into that circle shape he you can draw these zigzaggy shapes here as well for his fur because there is gonna be a color differentiation so like I said um, we're not at the end of the drawing yet but at the end I got it we're gonna have to do something to pull this together pulling down here curve up bigger here smaller so it's like a big triangle almost like pulling downward like curved triangle zigzag here as well so we do have to do something to this. We're gonna have to fill in the, the black parts of his uh, color. And that one's gonna be pretty hard up at the top. So you don't wanna cover up certain things. So you're gonna have to leave like a little strip of white right here in between everything because you won't be able to see the line like so, right? You're leaving in that little strip of white. Thick, thick to thin line here. Thick to thin line here. Thin line here. Up. Same thing over here. See where there's like a push of the uh, brow right here? You have to leave a little strip of white underneath it because you're not gonna be able to see that, that form otherwise. It's kind of annoying, honestly, but you have to do it um, if you're gonna fill it in. If you're not gonna fill it in, you don't need to do it. So we have to leave that, that strip up there. And then we're gonna fill the rest of this part in. I guess this will merge into the dark there. I know it feels weird at the start, and it feels wrong doing it, but like it will, it, at the end, it will look better than not. All right. We're gonna go over here and uh, we're gonna draw whiskers here. So one line over here, one line over here. I forgot to draw the side of his smile right here. Line up, line out, line out here, line out here. And I'm also gonna fill in uh, his body over here. And so for his shoulder, I might leave a little, nah, I'm not gonna do it. I was gonna say, I was gonna leave a little line there. I could have, I, I guess I could right here. You leave a little sliver of, of white for the paper. And you can do that down here as well. And just fill in the rest. It's also up to you, by the way. I mean, I know these are established characters, but you can also do what you feel comfortable as far as like how you feel comfortable drawing these characters. 
Um, it's up to you. Like I said, it's your thing. Same thing over here. His hand's going behind his back, so there's gonna be a line here. Right here too, his legs cross over, so I have to leave like a thin line over here. tail over here as well so other than those spots you know that's probably the hardest thing it should be that should be fine uh, thank you so much I appreciate it this is the end of the video um, if you did like it like I said let me know what you think um, say hi to me in the comment section I will say hi back to every single time and I will see you next time okay this is easy pictures to draw